Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on the Monster FMNL. This is, I believe, the fourth time I've done a video chart on it. Before I get started, I'd really like to note to please check my IRP disclaimer. Uh, with that being said, uh, like I've done with the other videos, I want to just start off by pointing out uh, this uh, report here, which you can find at marketbullreport.com. Again, marketbullreport.com. Uh, that just shows all the details about uh, the company, talks about the $10 price target, and uh, right there uh, but most importantly if you go down and look at the disclaimer you can see a, a big hefty uh, marketing budget behind it um, and you know like I said in the other videos when you see these uh, budgets uh, you know that that's a good thing because there's uh, you know a good amount of money that's going to be put into advertising and then looking back at the chart you can see that uh, basically I think the first video chart I did on it was down here in the 50 cent range and now it's up new highs today up above a dollar ten so uh, you know, you can see the marketing uh, does match up well with the chart as it's been just uh, basically the name of the game has been higher highs and lower or higher lows. So it's, uh, you know, really kind of been uh, just a nice chart that you could, you know, throw right in the textbook if you really wanted to. So the chart's at a very uh, interesting area. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we look here at this orange line, this is the 200 day simple moving average. And if you're familiar with uh, the world of charts, you know that this is a, a very important level uh, of resistance. And you can see the price did get above it a little bit intraday, but I uh, did get knocked down, uh, which is pretty typical. You know, it, it's not too often that you see a price able to get through and close above uh, such a key moving average uh, like this at its first try. But um, you know, amazing to think that just a couple weeks ago it was uh, bouncing off the 50-day and now it's all the way up here uh, doing battle with the 200-day. So uh, really a strong looking chart and uh, this will be the key thing to look for, you know, the rest of this week is how uh, does the price react with this 200-day, you know, a break above that. And when I scrunch up the chart like this, you can see that essentially a break of the 200 uh, basically puts it into complete blue sky breakout territory. Uh, you know, there, there are these other areas here, but, uh, you know, volume wise, you can see volume was essentially nothing. So, uh, you know, this 200 day is really, you know, essentially a, a launch pad, if you will, uh, in terms of, you know, this resistance and then where other resistances are, uh, it's blue sky. So it's, uh, essentially one of those spots where you kind of got to just trade with your instincts and, uh, see how, you know, the far the momentum really takes it because that's past history shows. And I say past history because it's not like I'm just pulling this out of nowhere. You know, the the chart has already shown us numerous times that, you know, here's one big day where the price made a big move. Here's another big day. Uh, so it's not like I'm just speculating on that. I'm just going back and looking at the previous history of the chart, and you can see that it's got a, a, a history of, you know, making big moves. So with a break of the 200-day, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to see another one of these moves like this, or better yet, maybe three days in a row like it did back here, uh, you know, when the party was just first getting started. I had one question saying, well, look, the volumes dropped off. Well, let's keep something in mind. At this point in time, you know, the share price is up here above a dollar. When these big volume days were happening, you know, the share price was uh, basically half of that. So that's one thing to keep in perspective is, sure, share volume has dropped off some, but, you know, when the shares now cost, you know, up over a dollar, you know, that will affect that. So don't don't be deceived by, you know, the size of the volume bars. You have to remember that the price has, you know, gone up in price. So keep that in mind, too. In terms of support levels, uh, the two support levels that I'm looking at, uh, first one right here, basically a dollar, and then the other one being at this set of previous highs, uh, which are valued at uh, 94 cents. So $1.94 are going to be the two key levels of support. And then, of course, you do have all these moving averages, which are now sloping upwards. So short-term bullish, medium-term bullish, uh, and even the longer-term one has flattened out. So that's, you know, a good sign. Um, but these are going to be the key areas of support. And like I already talked about, really only one level of resistance. That's this 200-day set moving average. And after that, uh, you know, hopefully history repeats itself and we get some sort of day like that, or better yet, get a nice three-day streak or more of uh, something uh, like it did back here in mid-May. So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, again, check out uh, the website and look at the big advertising budget. But again, this was FMNL. Thanks for listening.